Hey there, this is Teresa, and let's talk abundance. What we're going to talk about today that is going to support you to access and experience more abundance, more freedom, more ease, more of what you want in your life is one of the oldest principles of prosperity and success of personal and spiritual growth. And that is simply the focus principle. The focus principle tells us that whatever we focus on the most, whatever our mind focuses on and what we give our attention and energy to is what's going to show up in our lives. It's what we're going to experience. It's, it's not only what's going to show up, it's usually what's going to expand in our lives. So bottom line, when we focus on abundance that's going to support us to experience and access more abundance. And when we focus on scarcity, hmm, yep, I know that one, we create more scarcity for ourselves and it's unnecessary scarcity. So when it comes to this focus principle, a lot of people that I've worked with over the years, and I've even tried it myself, think that we have to get rid of our scarcity thoughts in order to focus on abundance. But that's not how it works. In fact, trying to get rid of them keeps us focusing on them. And our brains don't work well when we're focused on what we don't want. Our brains can, especially our subconscious minds, work so much better on our behalf when we're focusing on that which we do want. And so this morning I had planned to do a little demonstration that I I use a lot with my clients to help them understand that they don't have to get rid of their scarcity thoughts and beliefs in order to focus on abundance. They just have to practice changing focus and focusing on those things that support them to move forward. So... Here's the little demonstration, and then I'm going to share with you the little surprise and aha I had for myself when I was trying to shoot this video a little earlier. So I've got this little pink pencil here in front of me, and I'm focusing on it right now. It's right there in front of me. Now, I'm going to keep holding it right here, and I'm going to turn, and I'm going to look over behind me, and you can't see it, but Over there is the corner of my bedroom where I bought two new tables and I want to create up this little craft area where my sewing machine is and there's empty space for me to do Zen tangles or whatever I want. But when I look at it right now, it's just covered with stuff. It's all cluttered. Two months since I bought the tables, it's just piled high with stuff. Now I'm going to turn back. I'm going to focus on this pencil. Turn back. I can see those two tables that are filled with clutter. Now, when I'm focusing on this pencil, that table is still back there filled with clutter. It didn't have to go away. I just had to choose to focus on this pencil. Now, I can turn back and look at the table. And when I'm looking at the table, you can see the pencil is still there. But I can't see it because I'm not focusing on it. So practicing the focus principle is really one of moment by moment awareness. What am I focusing on? Am I focusing on that which moves me forward? Or am I focusing on that which keeps me stuck, keeps me not where I want? Because stop and think about it. If I want to move forward in my life, focusing on something in front of me that I desire, it's going to make it a lot easier to step towards it than if I'm focusing behind me on what I don't want or what I don't like, and I keep my focus there. If I try and move forward, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fall. And that's what happens a lot. Now, here's the thing. As I was shooting this, I, I know this principle. I've taught it for years. I've experienced the power of it. And as I was shooting my video, the first take this morning, I'm sitting here doing this demonstration and I look back and I see that table and I realize, oh my gosh. For the past two months, I've been thinking about that table like, oh, I got to get rid of all that clutter on the table. I got to get rid of that stuff. And guess what? (laughs) Not only have I not gotten rid of that stuff, when I look at it now, more stuff has gotten piled on the table. 
for these past two months, ever since I bought those new tables and I set them up, I haven't been focusing on what I want. A clear corner table with one part of it has my sewing machine ready and able to go. Another part of it like cleared off so I could come up and do art or zen tangles or coloring or anything like that. I haven't been thinking about that. I've been thinking about the clutter that I have to get rid of and nothing's happened. It hasn't helped me move forward towards what I want. So just talking to you now, getting in touch again with what I want, that table to look this way, a space where I can come up and, and draw and doodle and zentangle or sew or whatever. Wow, I can already tell something's going to change on that table today and I'm not going to get it all done, but I'm going to do something because in, in, teaching this principle to you today about focusing on what we want instead of what we don't want, focusing on abundance instead of the things we don't like or the scarcity in our lives, and practicing that literally, I had this flat forehead moment of, oh my gosh, here was an area in my life where I've had my focus on the things that I don't want and I've gotten more of them as a result. Moment by moment by moment, you get to choose. Are you focusing on and giving attention and energy towards that which you want or that which you don't want or want to get rid of? Because what you focus on is what's gonna show up and expand and it's what you're gonna experience. Are you gonna experience abundance and growth and progress and success? Or are you gonna experience unnecessary scarcity? This is Teresa and we're talking abundance. But remember, it's not just about hearing me talk about abundance. It's about you going out and living abundance in your life starting today, starting this moment. Focus on that which you want to see continue to show up and expand in your life.